Hey everyone, welcome to Bearded Radness. I'm Dark Side B, and today I'm gonna to show you how I do all of my bass audio in my videos. I get a lot of questions how I do that because I play my bass live in my videos. So I have all of my gear set up and wired. I'm gonna film this from a first person perspective so you can actually see what and where things are being plugged in. So let's get to it. Here we have my Yamaha MG06X mixer. This is where all of my bass signal comes in. And then this cable here is the output to my camera. So let's go back to the first source of bass and I'll show you how it works. One of the two ways I use to get bass in my videos is I use my TC electronic bass amp that I have here. So obviously we plug our bass into the input and then we need to use the DI signal that's in the back of this amp. And that looks like this. So we have that XLR cable coming from the balanced output of this amp. As you see here, that XLR cable will come over and plug into the mixer. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're sending a good strong bass signal from your amp into this mixer. That way we're not cranking up the gain in these levels to get a good bass sound. Now when you want to hear your bass, definitely use the headphone jack on your mixer so you know exactly what the audio sounds like coming into your mixer and going out of your mixer to your camera. The second way I get bass in my videos is use an audio interface and then I plug my bass directly in with an instrument cable. I come over, open up my DAW, use a bass plug-in. Here I have the Bass Forge Hellraiser by Joey Sturgis Tones. I think I picked this up for like $60 on sale and I love this plug-in. It is really good and has served me very well. These cables here are the ones that carry my bass sound from the audio interface. And how I do that is I split these speaker signals. One set of cables go to my studio monitors, and then the other set comes back here to the mixer. After I choose what method I'm gonna use, either my bass amp or the audio interface with a plug-in, the next step is checking the sound at the camera. Now this cable here carries the audio to the camera. So that is the speaker out from the mixer, and that is controlled with this red knob here. So the trick with this is you need to come over to your camera and you go into the menu settings and you're going to want to hit sound recording manual. So click on that, come down to record level and you are going to want to set this input all the way down to one and hit enter. And then you're going to want to start playing your bass and then turn up the volume slowly on the output of that mixer. And I try to land my bass sound just around that negative 12 dB. I don't like to go above it. Before I end the video, I just want to go back to something I said earlier. Make sure you have a good, strong bass volume coming into this mixer. Now, it doesn't need to be blasting from the amp or the audio interface. We just want to make it so we are not maxing out these knobs here to 10 and then running your level to your camera. Uh, from my experience with this mixer, if you need to take it up to that 10 there, you're going to add a little bit of noise from the mixer and you shouldn't need to do that or even come close to that. So they have a notch here, kind of where the uh, set point is or a good place to start. I even take it back just a little bit, bring in the bass audio, and then I set the level to about here roughly when I make my videos and that is plenty of volume. For bass in my videos as you heard before and you have plenty of headroom for more volume here if you like you plug your mixer into a house system or whatever you're doing that's just what i do for my camera and that is how i play bass in my videos i hope this was helpful and answered any questions you might have of course if you have any more leave them down in the comments below for me thank you guys so much for watching stay rad